Hello everyone. Welcome to this first question from this series of Quant Versal. As you know that I will be discussing some questions in this series, which are from actual CAD examinations, and I'll be discussing the aptitude way of solving them. I hope you understand what do I mean by aptitude way. As we have already discussed that uh, no uh, equations, no formulas, no variables. So we'll try to minimize these things while answering these questions, and probably we'll understand what is the quantitative aptitude way of solving these questions rather than a traditional mathematical way. So here is a question from CAT 2022 slot 2. It says in an election there are four candidates, 80% of the registered voters casted their votes. One of the candidates received 30% of the casted votes while the other three candidates received the remaining casted votes in a ratio of 1, 2, 3. If the winner of the election received 2, 5, 1, 2 votes more than the candidate with the second highest votes, then the number of registered voters was. Just look at this point. The question is asking you the number of registered voters. So always pay attention to these things because they would actually make uh, this question easy for you. How? Question says there are four candidates. 80% of the registered voters casted their votes. What does that mean? Whatever the registered voters is, 80% of that, that means 4 by 5, I'm sure you all know 80% is 4 fifth. So 4 fifth of registered voters, they casted their vote. So can I say it should be an integer, right? If these many people casted their votes, so people cannot be in uh, decimals. Therefore, registered voters into 4 by 5 should be an integer. That means registered voters must be a multiple of 5. If it does not uh, cancel out by 5, how can I have an integer over here? So by that logic, can I say C option is gone and D option is also gone because 40192 and 60288, they both are not a multiple of 5. Of course, both of them are gone. My answer is either option A or option B, but still I'm left with 2. Now see, the question could have become extremely easy if the other option was also a non-multiple of 5. I could have easily answered this question at this stage only. So we'll have to move ahead because there are still two options left. One of the candidates received 30% of the casted votes. Now, casted votes are 4 by 5 of registered voters. 30% of that is 3 by 10. Can I say this should also be an integer? Now, 2 twos are 4, 2 fives are 10. When I solve this, it gives me 6 by 25 times of the registered voters. That should also be an integer. Immediately, we can say registered voters must be a multiple of 25, otherwise it would not be an integer. By that logic, even option B is gone. That's it. Our job is done. And this is the aptitude way of solving the question as I discussed before. We'll be bringing more such questions in the uh, future. And I'm sure that I'm explaining it here. It is taking me some time. Otherwise, a person who would be reading it for the first time probably could have answered this question within 20, 25 or 30 seconds. Agree with me? So keep following the other questions of this series. I'll be meeting you in the other question now. All the very best. Mm -hmm.